is Dr. Clayton Lane. This video will be about arthroscopic cartilage repair. This is a case example of a 14-year-old cheerleader who presented with gradual onset of left knee pain, uh, went on for several months. She presents now with catching in the knee and tenderness in the front of the knee. Here we see her x-ray and immediately we pick up on a small irregularity of the medial femoral condyle. This lucency and dent suggests that there's a cartilage injury. She went on to get an MRI and then we we're able to see a fairly large defect of the medial femoral condyle. This is a side view of the knee. Here you can see that the normal gray cartilage ends and then there's a pothole, so to speak, in the cartilage surface. And you can see how that when she bends her knee, this is going to come into contact with the tibia and the meniscus and cause pain. Here at arthroscopy, we have the camera underneath the kneecap. Now I'm looking down into what's called the medial gutter, and there we see our culprit, a large piece of cartilage and bone. As I swing around to the medial femoral condyle, there you can see the pothole where that piece came from. So what we're going to have to do first is retrieve that bone and cartilage fragment. Again, I'm trying to keep my incisions fairly small, so we're going to tease that delicately out, a 15 millimeter incision, uh, stretching the skin in order to get it out. We'll then prepare that on the back table. I'm preparing the bed for the repair site here with an arthroscopic shaver. Once our cartilage fragment is prepared, then I'll reinsert it into the knee and manipulate it into position. Now here you see us inserting a bioabsorbable screw through a small one centimeter incision. That clear screw that you see going in will hold the fragment in place until it heals and then over six months the clear screw will actually be absorbed by the body and disappear. Once that screw is in place you can see us targeting a second screw and then a third screw and now you can see as I take the knee through a range of motion she has a more smooth weight bearing surface and if we were able to look at this at six months to a year post-op uh, with arthroscopy, you'd uh, have a hard time even finding this lesion. Post-operatively, we put her on a continuous passive motion machine, or CPM, for about two hours a day. We allowed her to walk immediately with the knee straight and an immobilizer. At six weeks, I let her walk normally with no brace and then begin strengthening at 12 weeks. This is an example of the type of exercises we had our patient doing at 12 weeks at Saraland Physical Therapy. And then finally she was cleared for cheering at four months. Here we see our post-operative x-rays at two weeks. You can see that that gap or that lucency is starting to get better already. And then here we see her at a year follow-up and the uh, defect in the cartilage is almost unnoticeable. Also at one year you can see that our incisions have healed very nicely. It's very difficult to locate them in fact. They're small one to two centimeter incisions uh, in three places on her knee which are uh, very cosmetically acceptable. And here she is back in action about a year later at Sarah Land High School. So in summary some acute cartilage injuries of the knee can be treated arthroscopically. Arthroscopic treatment leads to quicker recovery and increased chance of full function in athletes. Thank you.